this is Danish and in this video we will be actually uh, doing two things one I have two uh, USBs right here one is 4 GB right here and the other one is uh, 2 GB what's happening right now is one of my computer Windows 10 uh, I was playing around with it and I crashed it so I really need to get some files out of it and then I am going to put uh, a 64 bit Windows 10 on that. Now I'm not trying to fix it because I want 64 bit on it. And I think this is a good time. It's already messed up. So um, what I want to show you guys is two things. One, um, how to uh, use a, like you know recovery tools on a USB. You put it on this USB and then you can get to the crashed computer, uh, get the files out of it. And then the second one, how to make a US bootable USB. To make your Windows 32-bit um, system into a 64-bit. Now you do have uh, your your hardware should be a basically uh, it should be able to um, install 64-bit depending on if it's not uh, able to do it from a hardware point of view then it won't get this happening. This is Danish and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a 64-bit Windows uh, 10 on a 32-bit uh, Windows 10. So make sure you have your Windows activated, meaning you are already running a Windows 32-bit and your hardware can basically install it. Uh, so to check your hardware, you can go to your system, so like properties, and it should say 64-bit, 64x64 uh, 64 base processor. If you have that, then uh, it should be able to get the 64-bit um, Windows. Um, it can install the 64-bit. Okay. This is Danish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your 32-bit uh, Windows uh, 10 to 64-bit. Before doing that, you need to make sure your computer is um, the hardware can actually take the 64-bit on that system so it has to um, have the 64 x64 based uh, processor if it's not x64 then you won't be able to do it um, this machine is already having 64-bit and it needs to be activated uh, you should have a license key it should be on the, either on the top of computer or it should be activated here so you should have a license so the the main part of this video is that you already have a 32-bit system running and activated uh, and you know your hardware is x64 and you can basically do it but you want to learn how to do the installation then this is how you do it you go to Google type Windows 10 64 ISO I'm going to share this in the description link um, click on that and what will happen is you will get to this page and after that you just click on download tool now once you download it you're going to click yes you'll click on I accept now you what you need to do is to create installation media for another PC uh, or you could do it upgrade this PC now but I haven't done this so what I'm gonna do is I want to create an installation media you, you can even use it on this PC or if, if it's if it's 32 bit if you have a 64 bit then you need to use it on that one I'm gonna create an installation media before doing that you need a USB I have my USB which is 4 GB uh, it has to have at least minimum of 4 um, they require 3 but I will put 4 just to be safe so as you can see right here when you click on next you get the 64-bit um, ISO so I'm gonna click next what do you want to do you want to create a USB flash drive or do you want to create an ISO ISO is basically you can put it on DVD uh, and then you can use it later um, you can put a USB I'm going to create a USB so let's do that I'm going to go ahead and plug this USB into my this computer right now as you guys can see I plugged my USB into this computer and that's the USB drive D drive if you have things in there make sure you format it 
save the whatever you want to get out of the USB click on format and then click on quick format and it will basically remove everything now let's go back to our installation media right here I'm gonna go ahead and click next the files on your USB drive will be deleted to keep these files back them up now and that's the same thing we talked about you see right here the no label removable drives are D I would like to pick the D right there click next Now to install uh, Windows 10 64-bit on this machine, just want to remind you that make sure you log into your system, back up everything just in case if this is not working and everything get corrupted or something like that. Take a backup of the whole system before you do this process. Save everything, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to plug this into our 32-bit uh, machine that we want to turn into 64-bit. I'm going to plug this into a desktop right now so it's plugged into the computer and I'm gonna restart it okay it's restarting I'm gonna hit F12 see it's booting to the boot menu select a USB storage device and this is going to start from USB right now, the whole installation. Okay, so right now we're going to just do a basic computer installation, install now. If you don't have a product key, you can click on I don't have the product key right now. I mean, you do, you, you do definitely need to have a product key before from a CD or from a computer if you look at your computer like I said it's gonna be a little tag and that should have a product key so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Windows 10 Pro next because I had a Windows 7 Pro license so I'm gonna use the Windows 10 Pro I'm gonna click on I accept the and click custom install here you need to pick your disk which is this one click OK and there you go uh, we're gonna have a 64-bit installation running right now so after everything is done I'm hoping everything will be 64-bit and then I can use more memory into this machine All right, we're gonna restart now. So this is gonna take some time, so be patient. Okay, you're gonna get this first screen and I'm gonna use express settings here just to make things quick. So then you're gonna get this option if it's your computer and you have a Microsoft account use the I own the machine if it's a work related then you use the white work since we're doing a course help us course on our site we're gonna keep it my work because then that gives you more um, options and then click next so you see right here when you do the work it says join to local active directory you can do that So when you have a local active directory, you basically click on that and then it will help you set up things. It's, 
just basically the same thing when you log in and then you can set it up. But if you're a home user and you're watching this video, you will have to use this. I own this uh, machine. You're going to click on that and then click on next. Then you can use your Microsoft account here to actually log in and everything will be synced into your Microsoft account. It could be Hotmail, Outlook, um, MSN, I guess. But if you, if you don't have that, you can skip this step on the bottom right here. Click that skip step. And now normally you will just put the username just like you used to. So I'm just going to give it a username. Okay, so that will be our admin account. And click next. So there you go. We have a 64 bit Windows running on this machine. We're just gonna make a few changes on this machine right now just to check the your machine. Is it 64 bit right now? To check that, you just right click right here, go to system. And that tells you right there 64 bit operating system. And now I can basically um, give whatever the maximum for this machine is, I can give you give that. And look at this, I didn't have to actually even get the, um, the key for this machine. It already picked it up from the older one and activated it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's already activated. And that's it, guys. Right now I can maximum use the, use the maximum out of this machine right now. It's a brand new machine for me. In the next video, what I'm going to show you guys is how to do, when you have a fresh Windows right here, how do you update it easily, put all the applications on it, okay? And that video will be put in Job Skills Share. This is a site where you can learn uh, hands-on IT training. So in, we're going to put that in this course, which is our help desk entry level to specialist. The next video we will go under. If you scroll down, if you, if you go to the course, uh, this video will basically go under basic OS walkthrough and we're going to put basically uh, Windows uh, uh, 10 32 bit to 64 bit. The next section we will put is how to update a fresh Windows 10. And then with that, we will also show you how to back up everything once you're done with it. So you don't have to go through all of this process again. You can actually finish it in 20 minutes or 25 minutes. All of this that can take hours just do it like this but when I show you that how to take a full backup of the machine uh, you can you actually use that at work also now one thing I forgot to mention you can also do an active directory from this also you go to systems you go to change settings and from here you will click on change and here you can put your active directory so you don't have to do the first part if you don't want to you can do set it up the way like a home user and then you can add an active directory domain right here thank you for watching this video hopefully you guys will like this video